Good afternoon, I'm the captain and this is Chef, Chef In. So today I'm going to do pastis donata, which is Portuguese custard tarts. Now first of all, I'll just move these two eggs here. First of all, I'm going to get some ready-made roll of puff pastry. I'm going to open it up, nice and easy as you can see. So I open it up. Always buy it, don't make it. It's a lot cheaper, it's lovely, and it's very easy. And this is an easy dish. It takes about 20 minutes. So I've opened it up, and I've got some nice ground cinnamon here. So I'm going to put it on, just roughly around. Nice bit, nice bit. And then I'm going to work it in. I say work it in, Captain. So then what I do, I'm going to ask the my chef to just hold the end of the paper, please, yes, chef. No problem, Captain. And then I pick it up. Nice and easily like this. So I'm just pulling it off. There we go. And then I'm going to pull it like that, upside down. And then I, I'm rolling it up like a big sausage. Thank you, Chef, yes. No so roll it up nicely. I'm just equaling it up nicely. Then I'm going to get my knife. And I'm going to cook it, cut it into 12 equal parts. That's well, I've just got 11 there, that's fine. That'll do. Didn't quite make it this time. No. So what I do then, I get a good solid muffin tin, no oil, nice and cold, ow, nice and cold. <laughs> so what I do, I get one of my little rolls and I press my thumb down on it to flatten it. I have cleaned my hands by the way, I'm very conscious about that. And then I put it into the tin and mould it out nicely. Thank you, sir. No problem. So you're basically squashing it to the tin? Squashing it into the tin, bringing it up. You don't want to squash it too much so the puff doesn't happen, but... Be gentle. Be gentle but firm. I'm bringing them right up to the top of the tin as much as I can. My chef here has been very helpful by... Um, Squashing them a little bit for me just to get it started. And I can smell that cinnamon, it's oh, an amazing that's smell. Amazing. And it won't stick. That's the good thing. Why won't it stick? There's a lot of butter in puff pastry, so it's pretty, uh, it has its own kind of uh, lubrication, I suppose. It's yes. Sort of... And it, yeah, the butter creates a good lube for it, so stopping it from sticking. And um, like good we all like yes, it. Good we all like a bit of lube. Yeah. yeah. And you want to use that cinnamon as well? Yeah, I usually yeah. pop that in. Yeah. Looking good. So now I put these in the tin, moulded them around, put a little bit of excess cinnamon powder in it. Now I'm going to put them into a preheated oven of 200 degrees for eight minutes until they've browned on the top. Thank you, Chef. There you go. Lulu's going to help us eat them as well, aren't you? You ready? Yes. So that's in the oven for eight minutes. I've got Chef here helping me. So he's going to cook, crack two eggs in a bowl. Two and a half, two and a half tablespoons of sugar. Just under 300 grams of creme fraiche. I always use, that's a 300 gram tub, but I use just a little bit less. And as we've only, we're only doing 11 today and I couldn't quite get 12 out. And a little bit more please, chef. A little bit more. Don't worry. And this is lovely vanilla paste, which I pour in 
about a teaspoonful. Look at that, absolutely amazing. Just whip it up with a spoon, just gently. So about a teaspoonful of vanilla a paste. A teaspoonful of vanilla paste. And then Ian's going to grate uh, the zest of uh, the whole of the orange into there to give that beautiful orangey taste, which Portuguese custard tarts are renowned for, and obviously the vanilla as well. Be careful of your fingers, in. You don't want to crush them. Yeah, it's we all know what it's like. One of the worst injuries are great. Worst injuries, injuries, yeah. Do you want to try and get some into the bowl and not onto the table, then? Yes, Captain. That's a worry. <laughs> get me on the clean and narrow. You have to tell these chefs, don't you? They always make a mess. <laughs> I like to think I'm a tidy chef. It's just because I'm in someone else's kitchen, I don't mind making You don't have to tidy up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. That's fine, I'll clean it up. Could we put a bit more in, please, yeah, Chef? Not, not to worry, not to worry. Oh, I can smell that. We don't like to waste the orange. Oh, I love that smell. Again, be careful of your knuckles. Yeah, I'll eat the orange in a minute. Because watching all this cooking is making me so hungry. Well, that's not unusual, is it? That is one of my special powers. Human, human dustbin? Basically, yeah. <laughs> re re recycling unit. Is that alright for you, Captain? That's absolutely lovely. Thank you very much no indeed, problem. Chef. No problem. Beautiful. You go around the edges and get it all in a nice... That's lovely. Look at that. Can I lick the bowl? No licking the bowl you until can lick, it's finished. You can lick my bowl. Mm. <laughs> Mm. You can lick the rim afterwards if uh, that's all. <laughs> if I'm really that's lucky. That's a really tasty option. Yeah. Right, they've been in the oven eight minutes now, or about eight minutes. They've risen nicely. So, what I'm going to do, I just don't want to turn my back on you. What I'll do, I'll. Pull them out of the oven. Look at that. Thank you, Chef. Now what I do, I get a small spoon and just push them down in the middle. So this is obviously so I can get the, uh, the custard in. So just push it back, push it down, push it around. Nice and gentle, be gentle with it. Treat them like a lady. Nice and gentle. So you're making little, like, basically containers to tip yeah. custard into. So Not to, so we pour the custard. Pour gently. So gently. when, so Captain, so are we pouring them up to the top, or do we leave a little bit of a, a gap? Depends how much custard we've got. That's okay, so we'll go over them all and put a little bit in each of them first, yes. and then go back There should be enough, normally I'd find it's always enough for 12. There okay. you go, sir. Thank you very much indeed. So if you pour it up to the top, Without spilling any. That's fine. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I reckon we're about there. We've topped off. So I'm going to put them back in the oven, which is still 200 degrees, fan oven, for eight minutes. Thank you, Chef. No Look at that. Amazing. We've been here about eight minutes now, waiting for the uh, Portuguese custard tarts to cook. They look really amazing. Oh, very hot this, very hot this. So I've taken them out of the oven. Thank you very much indeed, chef. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them straight out because I don't want them to carry on cooking too much and they're just about ready. Be very, very careful because these are hot, hot, hot. That it's smells good. so good. Yeah, it's good. Just easing them out nicely. There we go, one. Can you see those? Absolutely amazing. And then the smell, I just wish you were here to smell that. Beautiful orangey tang. And the vanilla coming up as well. Lovely and hot. You can smell the cinnamon. Absolutely amazing. How long before we can eat yeah, them? Yeah, just wait a few minutes because they're freaking boiling inside. 
Right, this is a taste test, the Portuguese custard tarts. I'm going to cut it down the middle. Look at that, look at absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful, and then I'm going to cut it again. These have cooled down a little bit. I personally think they're nicer when they're cold. I'm just going to try that. How's that taste, Captain? Oh, I've got the zestiness of the orange, the sweetness of the sugar, the crumb fresh, Mm, beautiful and the vanilla and the cinnamon. It's mm, very nice. That's amazing. Mm. Mm. Would you so like some, sir? I would. There's a little taster for you. Have a quarter. Beautiful. So, Portuguese custard tarts. Taste test. Bottoms up. Mmm. Huh? Wow. Mm. That, that bit's mine. I did all the hard work. <laughs> I did the hard work, so I eat the most of it. <laughs>